Hi, I wanted to do a quick walkthrough on how to use the research priority calculator as outlined here in step two. So to get started, we're gonna to wanna to make a copy of our template and our template exists by either using this link or searching directly in Google Drive for its title. We'll go ahead and use the link. And as we can see, we are now in the template. Before making any edits, it's super important that we go ahead and make a copy first. So let's do that and we'll name it something meaningful. So I'm going to name it according to the time period that we're in. And you may want to consider naming it by the level to which you're prioritizing that. So if you're doing this for a section, a stage, or stage groups, name that accordingly. I'm going to name this generic a section for the time being. And once we have our calculator, we'll go ahead and start to make some edits. So we'll go ahead and delete this row reminding us to make a copy, which we did. And then we'll delete out this pre-filled in data here. We we'll wanna be careful to not delete J or K here as these are pre-configured calculations and we don't need to do anything to those. As you can see, there's color-coded headings. These correspond to the directly responsible individual for filling those columns out. So that will either be the UXR, which is the notice in purple, or the PM, which is the noted in blue. This can be done synchronously or asynchronously, whatever works best for the team. And to illustrate for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and fill out an entire row, however, this would be done with at least two individuals. So we'll go ahead and start to fill out a row. We'll go and find our research prioritization issue. So let's start with this project. So we'll paste in that title. And if any descriptions needed, we'll go ahead and do that or any kind of links you'll want to link that directly in here as well to help provide greater context. And we'll go ahead and fill out these drop downs accordingly. So this one looks like it is a problem validation. Based on our knowledge, this somewhat can be supported by a non-UXR. Does not include multiple methodologies. And yes, it will help the, the development for the team. So we'll say yes on that. So now switching over, our PM would start to fill out these columns. So we'll go ahead through there. So we'll say that this is medium. This one might influence product strategy. It affects all of our user database and it is scoped to a stage. All right, now that we've filled in our columns, you'll start to see that we have a priority score and a percentage and a support level. So this one came out to be 75% and a silver support level. So as you continue to read through the handbook, you will see how these are derived and what the support level means. Once you've gone through this activity, it will be important to understand the timing for these because that will ultimately help you figure out the order in which to tackle research projects in, depending on when the research should be completed by. So let's say this one needs to be completed by April of 2022. And you do that for all to get a final prioritization, prioritized list that is rank ordered by most important to least and timeline will be considered after you go through the activity of filling in the columns for each project. That is it and thank you.